We're not looking at a railway today, but at a place that was very special to someone that railways have a lot to thank for. In the town of Stroud, Gloucestershire, is Rodborough Parish Church, first established on the site as far back as the 14th century. To the unexpected delight of many, shining like a new coat of paint through one of its magnificent stained glass windows, is Thomas the Tank Engine. But how did he end up there? Thomas is not a biblical character, of course, but this was the local church for the author of the Railway series, Reverend Wilbert Audrey, when he retired here in 1965. Settling in a house not far away with his wife Margaret, this is where the last six volumes of the Railway series were written. We did visit the house itself, but out of respect for its current residents, I'm not going to point out exactly where it is. Where you are able to visit is Lawn House near Bath, Wilbert's childhood home, which is now a B&B. Back to the church. During retirement, Margaret Audrey worked at the local school, and Wilbert commissioned a stained glass window in her memory when she passed away in 1989. It should be remembered that without her input, the railway series would not have existed at all. Alfred Fisher designed the artwork based on Wilbert's chosen themes, those being the spiritual significance of everyday objects, children, the four elements, caring for others and family. After being awarded an OBE, the Reverend passed away in 1997. So by the time the window was completed the following year, both husband and wife could be remembered together. Nowadays, the church has a dedicated reading corner to the author, with an info page which I will summarise because it explains the symbolism of the artwork much better than I could. To the left, children play in the branches of a tree, taking pleasure in simple things. There's a willing, helping hand given to the child at the foot of the tree. For many of Wilbert's tales stressed Christian values and morals, and the helping hand was never far away. Above the tree, birds fly upwards, symbolising that the soul is not earthbound, and that appreciating God and his works can lead the spirit to endless higher things. The base is a depiction of the family at the time that the stories were written, Wilbert's reading an open book. The right-hand light is used to illustrate the four elements and the involvement of children with them. Thus we have a child plucking daffodils from the earth, one bathing in a stream, others sitting around a fire, and soaring butterflies flying around the sun. The physical source of all life. The spiritual source of life is represented by the dove of the Holy Spirit at the apex of the window, whose influence permeates all things. While the elements enable and sustain existence, they are also well known as constituents which form the power of a steam engine. This leads us to the cameo of Thomas the Tank Engine. Here Thomas is seen being put into the shed for the last time, while a shadowy figure of a clergyman in a cloth cap starts to close the door. Thomas has a mixed expression of sadness on the one hand and pleasure at what has gone before. The moon above confirms that this is the end of the day, the end of an era. The adjacent engine, however, can only grieve. Oh. It isn't confirmed who the mysterious other engine is, but it's safe to assume it's Edward, being the first character created by Wilbert. Something that is known is that this isn't the only church to feature the famous engines. St Edmund's Church in Ellsworth, Cambridgeshire, also features a window in tribute to the late Reverend, who served there from 1946 until 1952. Whilst it's amusing to see the little blue engine in such a religious setting, it's a thought-provoking reminder of the moral lessons within the books and the author behind them. If you'd like to visit yourself, 
then please understand that these are working churches that are of course open to anyone on some days of the week, but aren't museums. Rodborough Parish Church can be found on Walkley Hill in Stroud. If you appreciate the Reverend Audrey's writings, then you won't want to miss the Audrey Extravaganza 3 at the Talislin Railway in Wales on the 22nd and 23rd of July 2023. Visiting friends from the Scarlowy Railway will be running outside of an exhibition of archive material from both the Railway series and Thomas the Tank Engine. Wilbert's daughter Veronica will be giving a talk on the Thomas the Tank Engine Man. And Tim Dunn will be reading some archive material from the Audrey Study Collection. If you can't make it in person, tune in to the Railway Social Media with me for a live stream covering the whole weekend. Details of the event are in the description. Join me again on the first Friday of the month for a new guide rail where we explore the history of somewhere else. And become a patron of this channel in the description to support future videos. A big thank you to all of my brilliant patrons Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Nat, Random Thomas Fan, Peter Davenport, Ego, Kildane's Coven, Insane Edward, and Dark White 73.